Alright, so welcome back YouTube, welcome back to my welding channel, welcome back to Portugal's Ironworks. Um, I want to thank all my subscribers, I mean I know I don't have a lot of subscribers, but this channel is growing little by little. Um, I'm like at 45 subscribers, that's pretty cool, you know, from zero, I mean that means a lot. Um, if you're new to this channel, if, you're, if you ran into this channel, uh, my name is Ricardo, this channel is basically about um, building gates, welding in the field, and uh, doing cool stuff, you know. Um, and I, I'm not a teacher, but I like to show you guys what I like, what I, what I know, what I like to do, I like to show everybody. So um, that's what this channel is about, you know. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, if you can possibly share, that will really help my channel out. Um, but for today, what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you guys the tools needed to start a successful business. Uh, what kind of business? Um, it all depends on what you want to do. Uh, me, basically, me, um, basically what I do, I, I, I build gates. That's what I like to do. Um, I build gates from scratch. I don't bring the material. I bring it to the shop or wherever it is that I'm working at. And um, I just start um, fabricating the gates. That's what I like to do. I don't know if you guys can see these two dots, one dot, two dots. Those two dots, you always want to keep them clean. You always want to keep your your um, shield clean because if you don't and those things are covered up, as soon as you start welding, it's not going to get dark and you could, you could damage your eyes and you're going to get flash in your eyes and you're going to have to put potatoes in your eyes and honestly none of that works. You're just going to have to write it out. But you always want to make sure to keep your helmet clean. You don't need none of that. You can start off with your little welder. I mean, a whole bar, um, Everlast, um, little Lincoln, little Miller. You know, you can start with something small. This is an Amico welder. I don't know if you guys ever heard about this brand. This is what I operate. I've been operating it, I've been using it for about two years. Um, and this thing has built me so many gates, so many fences. And um, I only got it for about 180 bucks. Right now it's like at about 200 bucks on Amazon. Um, but you guys should really check it out. Amico Power Welder. This is a 200 MMA stick welder. And um, yeah, man. You really want to look into this welder because it's affordable and it's really reliable. And um, the Lincoln, it's more expensive. It, 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 you know, and it kind of works the same. I mean, Lincoln is, is much better. It's more um, known. But the Mico welder is getting up there. And you should look into it. And I'm pretty sure you guys will like it as well. This runs with a 115 outlet and it runs with a 230 outlet as well. I'd be operating it with a generator, I'd be operating operating it from the from the light of the house or the garage. And it seems to work fine. It is a 60% duty cycle. Um, it's not hundred percent so but it still doesn't work, you know, depending on what kind of work it is that you're doing. If you're doing structural steel, obviously this is not the machine that you want. But if you're doing gates and, and repairs and stuff like this you should really look into getting an Amico welder machine. Alright. You have your welding helmet, you have your welding machine. What do you need to operate a welding machine? To operate a welding machine, you're obviously going to need an extension cord. This extension cord is a heavy duty, it's a heavy duty extension cord. It has three plugs. And um, it's a, I believe it's a 50 footer or 100 feet, I, I honestly don't remember. But it's pretty cool, it's a 10 gauge or 12 gauge. I bought it off, it's a 12 gauge. If you get a 10 gauge, it's much better, but a 12 gauge seems to do the job. Um, this one I got it for from Harbor Freight. I got it for about 70 bucks, 60 bucks if I'm not mistaken. You, you're gonna need a long extension cord because this is the house is where you're gonna work at or wherever it is that you're gonna work at. You might be parked far or, you know, so you 
you're gonna need a. I always carry two. I have my other extension cord over here. It's a 50 footer. I carry them both in case I have a bunch of that one. I have the other one. And they should be just fine. So we already got your extension cord. You got your welding helmet and your welding machine. Now you're ready to start welding, right? This is something new that I bought off of Amazon. It's a red, uh, welding mask um, for the smoke so you won't be breathing all the fumes. Um, honestly, I've always welded without it. Um, I find, um, I seem to find this stuff uncomfortable, but I mean, you have to use them for your own safety. And um, I bought me this one, and this one I got it off of Amazon, and it's really not that comfortable. I mean, it's really not that uncomfortable. Uh, it's a double headband, you can use it in your head, and it in your head, double headband. And it's pretty cool, you know? It has filters, it comes with like six filters. You just pop this open, and you place your filter. Uh, if you're gonna start welding, uh, I recommend for you guys to look into getting a, a welding mask so you guys don't breathe all the fumes because those fumes, they, um, the electrodes, they carry um, fumes that are very hazardous and you could get cancer and all that mess stuff and I'm not really sure you want that. So getting a, a, a welding mask for you to not breathe fumes is very, very, um, you should keep that in mind. I know not everybody uses one, but I recommend for you guys to use one at uh, on Amazon. I got it for about $15. It has about six, seven other filters. So I should be good with this one for a couple of months or weeks, I don't know, depending on how durable they are. You have all this stuff over here now to operate your business, but what do you need now? You see, if you don't have a chop saw, you can always start out with a grinder. Start out with a grinder, change the wheels. You're always gonna need your, you're gonna need cutting wheels. You're gonna need these wheels, the grinding wheels, these are, um, grinding wheels on the piedra rock these are the flatness I like to grind the corners with this to take off the weld and then I like to smooth it out with the flat disc you know it, it gives you a good look at the end of the day so I carry one grinder you guys can carry three two with each wheel um, I like to carry one because I don't like to have all them grinders there you know, honestly, I'm old school, so I still use extension cords and whatnot. But all these new machines, all these new grinders that don't have extension cords, um, they are a little more pricey. But honestly, I got these ones. I'm old school. Uh, my uncle, he's the one that put me up on game. This is how he used to have his setup. This is how I have my setup. You know, monkey see, monkey do. So you have your extension cord, you have your grinder, welding machine, and your welding hook. So now you're ready to start operating um, something small, nothing big. You know you start from scratch. Alright? Once you start operating or welding or whatever, repairs or whatnot, little by little you're gonna walk to uh, buy miscellaneous tools. What kind of miscellaneous tools? Alright guys. This is how I like to keep my tools. Um, I carry them in the dolly, ride them to the truck. I don't like to leave them in the truck because I park my truck outside in the street and you know, thieves and all that, they'll come and take all your tools and leave you toolless. So I like to carry my crates and bring everything back to the garage. So this is where I carry all my miscellaneous tools. As you guys can see the little sledgehammer I have right here. You guys see my chip and hammer. You guys see my square, my rods, um, my 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 um, wood detector. What do you call these things? I forgot. 
Um, you know, this is all miscellaneous tools that you're gonna need when you're out there in the field. Little little drill bits. This is a 3 8 drill bit. This is the one that I use for making holes to put the red heads. And I could install the gates. This is where I keep the brackets. Um, you know, all this cool stuff. Uh, caps for the gates. Um, levels for when you're setting poles. Um, you know, just little miscellaneous tools. You got hex screws. You got red heads. You got all kinds of tools in this little box. Um, this is how I like to keep them. Because I know where everything's at. Um, my, 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 my gloves. More tools. Um, you're going to need this within time. Once you start um, growing your business, you're going to start getting more work. And once you have more work, that means more tools. So, I have a lockbox. I usually don't carry those in here. I don't know why it's in here. But, I'll leave it in there just in case. I have a deadbolt. I have this thing. I have more of that. And that's basically what I like to keep in this toolbox. I like to keep everything nice and uh, for me to know where it's at you know now in this other toolbox here i have my grinder as you guys could see you're obviously going to need power tools besides your welding machine your welding helmet you're going to need power tools that i have in this box okay these are my welding leads in my ground put that over here I won't be needing that right now so here what I have in this toolbox this should go on the other box right here here what I have in this toolbox is just a regular drill this drill I use it to put on the screen screws on the gates or I use it to do the holes for the deadbolts or I use it to mix concrete, you know, I, I, I put the thing, the concrete mixer in here. You know, um, this little thing, believe it or not, is very useful for me. You know, it might not look useful, but this thing right here puts in a lot of work. So that's something that you will be needing, a little drill, a powerful drill. So keep that in mind. Depending on what business is that it is that you're doing, if you're just doing welding and all that cool stuff, you won't be needing none of this. But if you're gonna be repairing gates and, and fabricating um, ornamental gates, you're gonna and installing them, you're gonna be needing an uh, impact. This is not a a Milwaukee or nothing like that, but it does the job. It was not expensive, and I've had it for a couple of years now, so no complaining. I got it off of Amazon. Last but not least, you have your rotary hammer. Your Bosch rotary hammer. You need that to break concrete. You need that to do the holes in the concrete. You know, very, very, very reliable machine. I got it off of Amazon. Everything that you see here, basically I got it off of Amazon. Amazon is a very good um, page where you could go get all your tools. You know, very reliable, very cool. And um, yeah, this is basically my setup, guys. And this will be your guys' setup too, if, if you like my setup. And um, this is basically the tools that you need to operate a business, a ornamental ironwork business. And um, your level, can't forget your level, you know. These tools are basically the tools that you're gonna be needing um, to operate your business. You're gonna be needing obviously also you're gonna be needing an air compressor because you need an air compressor to start what well, to start painting all the gates you need your air compressor with your paint gun to start painting all the gates 
Um, but you see, you don't need all that right now. You can start little by little. And um, obviously, eventually, you're gonna get up there little by little. You don't need to be all in a rush to get all these tools and stay broke. I mean, if you have the money, go for it. Start good, start fresh. And um, yeah, man. Yeah, guys, this is basically the tools that you're gonna be needing. You know, if you're new to this business, you got your extension cord, your welding helmet, your welding machine, and uh, this power tools that you're gonna be needing. Little by little, you don't need nothing big, you don't need nothing uh, expensive. You know, um, it's always good to um, get new tools with warranty. Uh, but if you wanna go ahead and get you know, used tools off of offer. Uh, Go ahead, there's always good tools in there too. Um, but you always want to make sure that you have good, reliable tools so they won't break down on you, on you in the middle of a job, in the middle of the field. You always want to have good, reliable tools. If you want to go ahead and, and keep extra cutting wheels or extra rods, you, know, you always want to have extra on you, always something extra on you because sometimes I work on Sunday, Sundays everything is closed. And, um, I'm struggling at times to get the stuff that I need, but that's how I learned. And that's why I always keep an extra set of rods, an extra set of cutting wheels, and stuff like that. But, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like what you guys have seen today. Um, you know, if you're new to my channel, like I said, my name is Ricardo. I like to build iron gates. I like to weld. I like to forge. Um, if you're into that stuff, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you possibly share. That would be great because that will um, benefit me in the future uh, so I can get more views and more subscribers. And, uh, I, I, uh, until next time. But yeah, guys, this is some of the tools. Most of the tools that you're gonna to need to operate a, a, a mobile welding business. Um, it depends on what kind of business it is that you're doing, that you're getting into. Um, as for me, all these tools work for me, that's why I have them. I, I make gates, I build them, I paint them, and I install them. And um, obviously that's why I need all this. If you're into that, you know, you should stick around. You should hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and you can possibly hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. And if you could do me a favor and share, that would be great. That would be very beneficial for me and for the channel. And yeah, man, I hope you guys liked what, what you guys saw today. And I hope you guys stick around. And until next time, keep bringing the rocks.